Hello friends, my self self reporting assistant professor Bhamit Hindu College Kamalapur. Welcome to the today's session. In my today's class we shall discuss the important aspect that is the national education policy. In this video, I highlight, we can see the highlights of the national education policy. Friends, the NEP 2020 aims at making India global knowledge superpower. Okay, the cabinet has also approved the renaming, renaming of the Ministry of Human Resource Development to the Ministry of Education. The NEP cleared by the cabinet is only the third major revamp of the framework of education in India since independence. The two earlier education policies were brought in 1968 and 1986. In that the class, the first the first the first the first global knowledge superpower model. Okay? The cabinet the cabinet approved the Ministry of Human Resource Development Change model Minister of Education and I have the case for a lag day. The new education policy cleared by the cabinet is only the third major revamp of the framework of the education in India since independence. If this is section and it is Nangail to my essential issue. In the today's hours, it's very essential. I mean, the education structure and our system and change model by one country. If this is section and it is Jari Bersele, Beka did it. Okay. The two earlier education policies were brought in 1968 and 1986. One of the two earlier education policies were brought in 1968 and 1986. So, the 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 NEP 2020 pays for numerous significant changes in the Indian education system. The changes and ob objectives of NEP 2020 are, are as follows. The school education and the current 10 plus 2 structure covering ages 6 to 18 to be replaced by a new pedag uh, pedagogical and curricular structure of 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 corresponding to ages 3 to 18. The next will be the Instead of annual examinations every year, students will now only attend exams in class 3rd, 5 and 8. Exam, exam, exam. Results, results, results. Parents could have not been there. Only our IA class and exams for the 3rd and 5 and 8th step. The class 10 and 12 board exams will be conducted as usual. But the exams will be made easier by following students to take exams twice a year. The exam will have two parts, objective and descriptive. As usual, any the board exam is conduct. So, no plus point in the end. The board exam they can do twice. The exam will have two parts. The objective is the descriptive. Okay. Universal, universal standards of learning and regulation. Regulations in public and private schools, yella public school or private school or villa, yella school, yella school or in universal standards. One the standards are mainly maintain maatari. In modern na aktiv to one thandre papa, badu rik tumba kasta aktiv. English medium school or yena aktiv thandre they are taking very heavy donation na na thavondo idu maatari. But yige ni the yella idu ko line ni the universal standards same maagi maintain maatari. Okay, occasional education and coding will be introduced from class six. RNA Targati Lavari and Agade, vocational education, Matu, coding and Avigate, Kalsala Mutade, students and Amele, mother tongue or regional language to be the medium of instructions at least up to class fifth and preferably till class eight. Very plus point in Yenon Tandre, students, Kalam, Tama Matu Bhasheli, minimum five years and Auru, Kalila Beku instructions. Okay, instruction Auru, Yelidine, first to fifth. Preferably, it will be coming up, uh, continued to the class 8 also. The medium of instruction in the regional language, that is a, an, in the mother tongue. Okay. Reports cards will be 360 degree holistic progress card that will give a comprehensive report on skills and capabilities instead of just marks and grades. Now, in the Indian system, there marks to rank to grade. If you have a word, you can see that 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 you have a
ರನ್ನಿಂಗ್ ರೇಸ್ ಇದ್ದಂಗೆ ಓಕೆ ಮಾಗು ಮಾಗು ಅಂತ ಆ ತರ ಓಡದೆ ಓಡೋದು ಓಡೋದೆ ಬಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಿದೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಮಾಸ್ಕ್ ಹೆಂಗೆ ಇದು ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಸ್ಕಿಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಕಪಾಬಿಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಬೈ ದ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಮತ್ತು ಗ್ರೇಡ್ಸ್ ಕೊಡೋ ಬದಲಿ ಏನೇನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಹೈಲೈಟೆಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸ್ಕಿಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಕೆಪಾಬಿಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಫೋಕಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಕರಿಕ್ಯುಲಮ್ ಟು ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅರ್ಲಿ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ಹುಡ್ ಕೇರ್ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ to the secondary level achieving 100% gross enrollment ratio in school education by 2030 this is the one of the main objective of the nep okay new national curriculum framework for early childhood education school teachers and adult students open schooling system to bring to roar out of school children back into the mainstream deployment of counselors and social workers to improve students mental health and right ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೈಕೊಲಾಜಿಕಲಿ ಮೆಂಟಲಿ ಅವರು ಫಿಟ್ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಏನಾಗಿದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪರ್ಸನಲ್ ಕೂಡ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದವ್ರಿಗೆ ಕೌನ್ಸಿಲಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಮಿಡ್ ಡೇ ಮೀಲ್ ಸ್ಕೀಮ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಡೆಡ್ ಟು ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ ದ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ಏನಿವೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಎನ್ ಇ ಪಿ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಸಿ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಹೈಯರ್ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ the current attempt this two system to be replaced by a new 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 curricular structure corresponding to ages 3 to 8 just we have discussed occasional education arne taragati in the start maartare you important highlights with what we have discussed in my previous okay. teaching up to at least grade 5 to be in mother tongue original language no language will be imposed by on any students under yavade vidyarthiyanu ide language alli kalidire english kalibeku hindi ne kalibeku antilla mother tongue they are very free to choose the language you know nodri yavade agli vandana student anna ready maadi by heart maadsi idu helu idu helu antu helidage avanige len aagutade helbekadru onnsari marthu hodre thumba kashta aagutade adhe if he is very perfect he can speak in his mother tongue means he can talk very well this is what the difference okay now <coughs> here yeah, holistic undergraduate education with a flexible curriculum can be 3 or 4 years with multiple exit op, uh, options and appropriate certification within this period andre illi vidyarthiyu undergraduate course thagobeku antandre it will be consist of the 4 years illi enide antandre first varsha odre avarige certificate course anta kodtare erane varsha odre avarige adu diploma anta kodtare ಮೂರನೇ ವರ್ಷ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಅಂತ ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ನಾಲ್ಕನೇ ವರ್ಷ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಗಿವನ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಆನರ್ಸ್ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ವಿತ್ ದ ಆನರ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಅಂಡರ್ ಗ್ರಾಜ್ಯುಯೇಷನ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಟು ದ ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಗ್ರಾಜ್ಯುಯೇಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಂ ಫಿಲ್ ಕೋರ್ಸಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಕೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಎಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಗ್ರಾಜ್ಯುಯೇಟ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಗ್ರಾಜ್ಯುಯೇಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ನೌ ಬಿ ಇಂಟು ಡಿಸಿಪ್ಲಿನರಿ academic bank of credits to be established to facilitate transfer of credits idhen ide antandre related to the higher education multi disciplinary education and research universities at par with iits and iims to be set up as a model of best multi disciplinary education of global standards in the country the national research foundation will be created as an apex body for fostering the strong research culture and building research capacity across higher education see under our new national education policy the utmost importance is given to the higher education for the research research and the development okay where we are lagging before this higher education commission of india will be set up as a single umbrella body for entire higher education excluding medical and legal education public and private higher education institutions will be governed by the same set of norms for regulation accreditation and academic standards also tci will be having four independent bodies national higher education regulatory council for regulation general education council for standard setting higher education grant council hcc for funding national accreditation council for the accreditation ille idu ella 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 kondi ola kondidari higher education policy alli yaya yeah, yeah, council galu bartave anta you can understand here okay for the accreditation evadidare national accreditation council nac for the accreditation whereas in higher education grants council for funding and the national higher education regulatory council for regulation and the general education council for the standard set then the new and 
existing HEIs will evolve into three distinct categories that is research universities, teaching universities, autonomous degree granting colleges. University and the higher education system will be the Bagal Nagi Marida research universities and the separate again. South Social University and the teaching other teaching universities and the other than autonomous degree granting colleges. The mode of education to become more flexible will be with a blended approach. National Education Technology Forum will be created. E courses will be developed in eight regional languages initially. And virtual labs will be developed. And blended learning is it. That is what the offline and the online courses, the online classes will be conducted. That may be the now for the first year they have introduced 40 as the um, online and compulsory and the 60 will be offline. Coming in the coming years, it will be changed. More will be focused for the online as, a, as well as the offline, both. National Research Foundation. Uh, NRF to promote high quality research. NRF will be soon set up and it will look after funding, mentoring and building quality of research in India. The NRF aims to fund researchers working across streams in India in order to bring non-science disciplines of research in its ambit. NRF will fund research projects across, across four major disciplines, sciences, technology, social, social sciences and arts and humanities. Regarding the national research college. My dear students, just in my today's session, we have understood about the national education policy. What are the important highlights? There are many things are there. Just I, I will try my best to explain that regarding the higher education. That is how, what are, uh, what will be the undergraduation? How it could be? What are the various plans? Everything we have discussed. There are more challenges as are there for any for any implementation of new thing there are various challenges just for example you can see the GST also in 2017 it has been introduced before that it uh, it has also have faced the many challenges like that only for the NEP also there are many challenges are there but with the various challenges implementation will be successful because the more benefits and uh, benefits are there for our students and you as well as for our nation Thank you.